Hey Scorpio, welcome to your general love read. This is your March forecast. Okay, you versus them love sex and emotion. And so I will be looking at you and your person. Could be energy that you're holding on to from the past. Could be new energy coming in. Okay, but looking at side by side. So for those of you that are new, welcome. I am an intuitive and so the messages that I get sometimes from spirit guide, which can be your spirit guides, my spirit guides, your frequency, um, inner knowing may not align with traditional tarot. Okay, so just tw take what feels light to you and leave the rest. Roles can be reversed because it's a general. It could be as a third party storyline and not your storyline at all. So just again, take what feels like it's yours. Don't try to make the rest fit. Um, I will be starting here with pulling cards for the collective so that if the rest of it's not for you, you're still getting something from spirit as well as pulling some intention for the reading. Please make sure that you like the video. Those likes go the very long way. It really is for this. I mean, I do this video for free. Um, and so it's the only way for the analytics to get this out in front of more people. So it's a gift to the channel and I truly appreciate it. All right. So let's see what's going on here. Scorpio. Interesting. You could be coming out of kind of like a, the dark night of the ego here. Okay. Because on the bottom of the deck, I have night. And you'll see why I say that in just one second. Okay. Because the cards for the collective here, it's morning and purple chakra. Morning, this card in my deck, my personally channeled Mindset Unicorn deck, is about the clean slate. Okay, mine is sunlight, mine is morning is the quote, but it's start this day with a clean slate and leap forward without hesitation, without once looking back. Okay, and being intuitive and aligned with your soul. And what's beautiful about that is the intention here. Okay, we've got the leap of faith forward followed directly by then taking the steps, okay, that you need to take. So I feel like you're moving into March with a really beautiful energy of I've cleaned out some shit and now I'm moving forward, okay? Who wouldn't love that? I think that's what we all like want to achieve. Okay, so let's take a look at you going into March here. Yeah, you're coming out of a tower energy. Okay. And it's like the emotions are starting to subside. Okay, that could have been what this darkness was, darkness, sadness, emotions, and then a little illumination that you're ready to move forward. But the tower in reverse, for me, it's your emotions are starting to subside and the spark is coming back. Now, middle of the month, you have a crossing energy here of eight of pentacles. So starting to work on things again. For someone I'm getting, it could be that you are actually going to go back to work. Um, so take that as it resonates, but it is in a crossing energy. Okay, so it's not, not working on yourself, but it's also not fully giving. Okay, so if you're starting a new job, it's kind of a slow start. Like maybe you're having to deal with a bunch of orientation crap. By the end of the month, Knight of Wands, it's getting that little spark, that little oomph, okay, where 
starting to take the steps. Okay, starting to take those baby steps forward. Now, bottom of the deck is the lovers. Okay. This person, okay, starting off the month, the magician. Somebody could be manifesting you coming into their life. All right. Um, middle of the month, this person, maybe it's just like the talking about this first meeting and like kismet souls is what I'm kind of getting out of the page of wands here. No real emotional give and take. Um, could be bonding over music. Um, but there's a little spark. There's a little something coming in here. End of the month here. This person, okay, I feel like they're trying with the five of wands here. I feel like they're trying to learn from the past. Like, how do I move forward with this new person here into the future? So I do feel like this is very new. Um, bottom of the deck, I've got the emperor and it's my time traveling emperor. So there could be similarities, familiarity here um, with this person and it could be just a little bit of a trigger. Okay. I don't know why I was going to put this down. We're going to continue and clarify. All right. So, yeah, tower in reverse. You have cut something off in the past here, I feel like, and moved yourself forward. It was a big decision. For some of you, this could be just emotional, um, but it was a spark of a transformation here. Crossing energy of the Ten of Pentacles. You may have realized that a situation that you were in was actually not as secure and substantial as you thought it was. Okay, the Magician okay crossed by the high priestess okay very very intuitive energy and the hierophant and the moon okay so i'm going to tell you there's two storylines developing here which really does not happen very often but sometimes it does Okay, for some of you, the energy of who you cut off and the emotions you're going through are somebody that's already in the past. And this person that's coming into you, they're very intuitive and they really, you know, they want to, there's a part of them that really wants to learn you know, how do I become a good partner? Now for the others, we have, you're realizing you're going to have to end something here because your person has been manifesting with the high priestess. Okay, so whatever that form is, you've got your magician and your high priestess, okay, intermingling here. And <laughs> I'm getting here because the high priestess, okay, has all this transformational energy. And here's the queen of swords holding one of these butterflies, like you may actually have found like a note or a letter or something and you're like, I'm done. Okay. And for those that that rings true for, this is a committed relationship. And this was intentionally deceptive. 
Okay, this person was hiding their communication with the high priestess from you. Okay. Okay, so for those of you that this is all new, okay. You're kind of working on yourself, kind of not, or kind of, you know, starting a job, but not really, you know, anything, but you meet someone. And you meet someone and there's a spark, like I said, an instant spark. And they have this feeling that there's something more to it. Okay, but you're not even sure if you want that. Okay, because you're still dealing with old baggage here. If this is someone you're still connected with, I do still feel like someone is coming forward to emotionally get to you. But again, you're not going to be sure that you want to do that because you're not even out of this. Whether it's someone from your past or someone that you have just caught, you're, you're not ready for that. Okay. And this person, okay. King of Pentacles, Crossing Energy, Ace of Cups, Queen of Wands. All right, so again, dual storylines. So if this is someone new coming into you, okay, there's a spark. This person is very stable. They want this new love. Okay, they see you as very sexy, attractive, beautiful, somebody that they can turn to. If this is your person that you have caught in a lie, all right, um, the problem is, is that they haven't been giving you what you want emotionally because their emotions are going to this other person but they're holding back the emotions from you and in their head it's okay that they're doing that because they provide for you okay but they have developed emotions for this other person and it really is okay taking their mind somewhere else and not on you at all but someone has come in no matter what okay okay I feel like this person that's come in all right they are making you happy and the universe is to thank for this, okay? So it is coming in when it's meant to be coming in for you. Again, I feel like you're going to hold back because you're trying to balance out your emotions from either the past person or the person that you're still connected with. Okay, let's see. So for the new person, if this is totally new, they're trying to learn, they're trying to learn how to, you know, be a partner. This is something they really want. And there's the beautiful thing here because I feel like they're watching you and trying to like emulate from you. 
So to me, this feels very much like a masculine, okay? Um, because I watched this really great video um, today and the guy was talking about how, you know, men have to learn how to be emotionally open and vulnerable because not all men, but most men are not taught or even just most divine masculine energies are not taught how to open themselves up and show love and empathy, okay, vulnerability to their counterpart. So this person has a lot of fire for you. So it could be, you know, a fire sign. Um, they want to take action. They're watching you and learning from you. Okay, it's transforming them. They're seeing this new truth within their cells and it's going to step up that emotional vulnerability tenfold with this person. Okay, for those of you that have caught someone, okay, end of the month, there's gonna be a fight. And this person, I feel like they're going to say, we just work together or we just, you know, talk. There is nothing going on here. It feels to me almost like a little bit of gaslighting, okay? With the Ace of Swords, because you have passionate communication in your hand that you have found from your person to this person or this person to some other person. So it's not as if you, you don't have it right here and there's still, there's that gaslighting. Okay. Uh, no, you've got it wrong. All right. So let's go ahead and pull emotions. Okay. Here's, like I said, you may be coming into the month feeling carefree, okay, relaxed. Now, know that no matter what, based on the intention of the reading, there is, like I said, baby steps going forward, clean slate, new energy coming in for you. Either way, but you're either still overwhelmed with the energy of the past or very upset by what this person is doing to you. Okay. So there's a hard, it's hard for you to even think of focusing on someone else that is starting to catch feelings for you. When you're in all of this, or I feel like this storyline could have been your past and that could be the baggage you're still holding on to. Okay, the new energy is eager, playful, okay? And loving, okay, affectionate, devoted, tender. This person could be a little bit younger than you as well. Okay, if this is um, somebody that you've been with, there's a lot of pride, okay, holding them, that's held them back from you. And um, a lot of this person spends a lot of time in their head. 
All right. So let's go ahead and, and they're confused, okay? Chaotic, confused, um, uncertain. So let's go ahead and clarify. Okay, you may have a feeling whether this is somebody you're still connected with or an energy from the past. Part of what you're holding on to is that maybe they're going to come back around. Maybe they're going to um, realize what they had, okay? Realize that what they did was wrong, all right? Again, King of Pentacles here. Realize that the secrets that they kept from you was not appropriate, not, not right, that it was cheating. They're like, no, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Yeah, okay. For those of you that are dealing with someone completely new, yeah, this person, Hierophant and Four of Wands, like, this is somebody who has, like, spent their life dreaming of growing up and being married and being somebody's other half and all of that. Um, that is their dream is to love someone. If this is somebody you're already connected with, it's, you know, cheating here in some way. This is a marriage and they do know what they're doing here with the Four of Swords. They do recognize that what they have done is more or less taking a break from their marriage. Um, and exploring, okay? Somebody else. In a deceptive manner. Okay, the new energy coming into you. All right, it is it's totally different, totally new, rebirth, okay? Happiness on the horizon here. But again, your problem here is this magician's energy of being tied to someone you're with or someone from your past where, well, what if they get their shit together, get out of their head, and come in and fight for me. And I'm with someone else. What does it, what do I do then? Especially if it's someone that you work with, okay? Okay, the only concern for this person, I feel like, all right, is the financials okay if this is someone that you are already with they don't okay they don't see themselves as having done anything wrong because they didn't go all the way like i just emotionally talked to someone that's not the same thing um They don't really see this as being bad because to them it almost feels like a payback. But for someone new here, be aware that this person being the nine of pentacles in reverse, like they don't have, they're not the type of person that is into material things, okay? They don't have any desire to really like chase after abundance in this life. <coughs> they're, they're just easygoing. They're, you know, simple-minded, very balanced. And I feel like the way that it came out, like this is someone that would 
<laughs> like they would like to have a farm, <laughs> you know, or like some sort of eco, like sort of, you know, thing. Um, but it comes out that they, this is somebody who, they may have been hurt in the past. And so their energy is like, like, I would never hurt you. Okay, again, just like we saw on with the other deck, there is going to be some sort of fight at the end of the month of some sort. Where if it's someone new, it's a fight within themselves of learning, like feeling like they're not enough, like they're really trying to emulate and learn from you. But if it's this person that, you know, did you wrong, then it's going to be an actual fight about emotions are the same thing as all the other types of cheating. Okay. But if it's someone new, it's an aha moment for you that this person really wants to go the distance. This could be your 10 of cups. If it's the cheater, you're like, no, when you are in a relationship, when you are in a commitment, okay, the emotional connection that you are having with someone else is cheating. Okay, again, if this is someone new, Page of Swords, the Hermit, Six of Pentacles. I feel like this person, all right, you're going to get the emotions out of them. They are intuitive enough to know when they need to fight for something from you, when they need to pull back and give you some space. Very easygoing, equal give and take. If it's the cheater, cheater, okay, they're going to fight every bit of what you're trying to say that they've done wrong. Uh, they are going to distance themselves and they are going to continue to give to both sides. All right. So let's pull some romance angels. Okay. You may not realize it, but you have been calling forward through this crown chakra energy, this awareness that you've had, this dark night, the manifesting you've been putting out there is for this new energy to come in. Okay, you've been calling for a soulmate and this Knight of Cups that's coming forward to you is, okay, a soulmate. Okay, and this new person, yeah, open your heart. It is safe for you to love. Okay, there is a lot of love from this person for you. Okay, with the old person, love yourself first. Okay, because um, you need to respect yourself. Um, not allow this person to wreck you. Okay. Now, the problem I'm getting here bottom of the deck okay is that there could be children involved in this and you feel like that's this complication but you are getting to know this new person okay you are probably flirting with this new person okay enjoy that time with them why because this could be the one true love romantic feelings okay but finances and career i feel like yes this could be someone that you work with or that you you know met through family friends or through work or something um so therein is your struggle okay so let's go ahead and pull some oracle cards
and they came out fast and furious. Okay. So this came out right underneath that soulmate that you're calling in. Fox, clever. You are swift and smart. Solutions to problems are easily found. Always listen to your instincts. Resources surround you. Be open to romance. Okay, be open to this new love. Let's look at the other. Patience. Create a place for nature's stillness and be renewed. Take time alone to find balance. Stay confidently or step confidently towards your purpose. Patience will bring you rewards. Okay, so again, take a little time, retreat, take care of you, love you, self-care. Yeah, conflict is coming, all right? For those of you with um, somebody who has strayed, and it's going to bring up a lot of emotional waters here. Tell me more about the conflict. Okay, again, I feel like your person is going to say, like, it was just work. It was just, you know, conversation. There was nothing, nothing to do with it. But, okay, this person was playing two sides. All right. But, You've been manifesting, like I said, you don't realize you've been manifesting a new world. Bringing in this energy of true love. So you're going to have a little bit of a choice, okay, regardless. So I'm going to move to the extended. All right, I'm going to look at the next week, going from the time you watch this, um, what is coming in with this energy and that's available on patreon which is my community where i do um, monday through friday readings you versus them i also um, starting next month i'm going to be doing the um, twice a month zoom integrative work that we're going to do together in a sacred circle and then it also will be available at Vimeo. Sometimes it takes me a day to get it completely integrated into Vimeo. With Patreon, it's just immediate. Okay, so just a little FYI. And on Vimeo, it's only there for two weeks. And then it comes down. In Patreon, like the whole catalog is in there somewhere. You just have to search for your sign or search for the title. Um... But I'm going to give you a sneak peek, so don't go quite away quite yet. Uh, all of my information to connect with me is down below for personal readings or to send me a letter if you don't really want to put a comment down below. Um, but also, again, just a reminder, make sure that you like, and if you want to see me in your rotation, subscribe, okay? So much love, and I hope to see you next time. Okay, Scorpio. Let's see what lessons, okay, are you learning here? Isolation. Okay. You are pushing away the inner adversity until you are open to it. I'm leaving you out of my life until my flight, fight, freeze response calms down. Okay, so you're going to struggle, I feel like, to let this new person in because of the emotions either that you're holding on to or that you're in the middle of. All right, so before we really move into this, okay, I want to know because I'm nosy, what are the intentions of this new person? Okay. <laughs> Success. But 
they're in their head about it. Like I said, this is someone who has, you know, dreamt of, you know, growing up and being committed and, you know, what all of that is, that means to them in their heart. And so this person has a lot of stories that they've created about love and romance. <coughs> Yeah, and this is going to be kind of like, you know, like dance with the fire is what they're saying to me. Um, birth by fire, where if you get involved with this person, you're going to completely bring them into a rebirth. Like they're going to go from immature idealism of love to true understanding of love. But um, there's a little, okay, there's a little fire that that comes with. What about your person if you're committed to this person? Okay. What's the intention there? Okay, they're putting all of their eggs into one basket. Seven of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles. They may feel like they have the strength to like make it through this. Okay, slowly but surely to this Ace of Pentacles. They may tell you, okay, that they're going to stop things, stop the passionate conversations, um, and turn around and kind of focus in on you. But they're still keeping that option, okay, open. Yeah, there's still deceit there. They're just more carefully hiding how they feel because the moon is emotions. 